What's going on, Bruce? <clears throat> now, thankfully, what you're looking at is not the current situation. We will actually check out the current situation uh, immediately, here in a minute, uh, as soon as we start this week's hottest cards. Um, so, it's been a hell of a day. <clears throat> yeah, you could say that. I, 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 I would say that Surging Sparks has started off with a bang. Yeah, so um, not only Surging Sparks, but quite a lot of cards in general are hot this week. So I, a little adjustment. I usually at the, the second half of the video, I do a speed run recap of all the cards that were on last week's and the weeks before and the weeks before they're still going up. We ain't doing that this week. There are so many hot cards that this whole video is going to be hottest cards of the week. I'll post all three pages. I actually updated the last week's hottest boards. I'll post it at the end, like one, two, three. So if you really want to see literally every card, like every single card updated prices, that'll be at the end of the video. You could freeze the video. Um, I just don't want this video to be a half hour long. Yeah, so basically I cherry picked a bunch of those cards that are up even more. And I mixed them in with a bunch of new cards that are up quite a bit. And it's gonna go like this. A whole bunch of random cards and then the second half is all and I mean all promos there are so many promos there there's an entire set of Kanto promos that we all forgot about that are flying up again okay so uh yeah let's let's get into this week's hottest card yeah yeah do it yeah, I took it off again. Again, it's a very sweaty, the, the Mimikyu is very sweaty. All right, here we go. So first of all, let's look at the raw card, Pika, the raw Pikachu, raw Pikachu card. The raw price of Pikachu, Pikachu raw. Oh my God. It's $376 raw. Right now, I think it was at 300 this morning. 376. Now, I'm so scared to refresh this. Okay, so this has been as high, and I've seen it, uh, trust me, I made a video earlier, and as soon as I posted the video, uh, I was off by $50,000, because this card was up to 50, and then it was up to 100, and then it was up to 150, and then it got as high as 450,000, and then it went down to 50,000, and then it went down to 14,000, and now it is, oh my gosh, at 2,000, basically $500. So yeah, somebody manipulated the shit out of it, uh, they already admitted to doing it. Uh, Dama knows who it is. Ask him. Ask Dama. Dama knows. Apparently the guy wants to know that he completely screwed with the eBay listing. But yeah, it, it went up to almost half a million dollars earlier today. But yeah, so 2500 A little more realistic. Maybe someone will actually pay for it at that price. Okay. So, alright, let's get into the random cards. So, Latias and Latios, I always like to say, when uh, things are booming, the most popular cards possible are usually the first to boom. And Latias and Latios. Uh, yeah, so these two, <clears throat> almost a thousand again. So on the one month chart, it's at $880, and now we're at to $960. And guys, there's a lot of tabs up here. So uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna speed run. I'm not gonna get too too in you know in depth in any of these. Moon Brion is at $1,181, if I remember correctly. This was a $100 jump from last week. Uh, yeah, because I did update the big board. I just, I already know we're not going to have enough time to go over all that. But uh, yeah, so it's up $100 bucks from last week. $1,181 for Moon Brion. Let's look at some other alt arts. So Giratina V from Lost Origin. I believe it was up $50 on the big board. And it's up to $380 bucks. Maybe it's only up like 30 bucks, uh, but yeah, I mean, I mean, it's definitely up 20 or 30 dollars from last week, as you can see on this chart. There you go, it's looking good. The other, there's two more alt arts, sword and shield alt arts, Gengar, 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 Fusion Strike, Gengar, Fusion Strike. I think it was up like 20 bucks on the board, the recap board, but it is now up to 353.70. Beautiful line. Let's zoom out so you can see the, the pop sword and shield pop on one of these all these charts look the same as far as sword and shield alt arts but the good ones are recovering so yeah looking good and then the other guy he was also on the board last week it's up another i think 
ooh, nine or ten bucks from last week, something like that. But Charizard V, brilliant stars. So yeah, everyone's wondering if and when this card will ever make it back to two hundred dollars. It got so close. It got so close. That sucks. Even in the sword and shield boom, it couldn't quite hit two hundred. That's a yikes. It's like everybody's hitting 200 except for me. Yeah, well, for years upon years, it was only Charizard. All right, so Bubble Mew. This, again, is a repeat offender of going up in price. It's been on my, my board for like four or five weeks. It's now at an all-time high. Again, another all-time high at 172. 100, yes, 172. 62. And we are almost done with the randoms before we get into all the promos. Maybe we got a few more. Giratina V, Crown Zenith. Crown Zenith, it's, uh, it's comfortably over 100 now. This was not on last week's, this is a new one. Zoom out real quick, look at the Tina. So when it's low is 95, now it's recovering. Recovering well, but you know, again, most popular card from Crown Zenith. All the most popular cards do well in these times. Two, two Temporal Force cards we're gonna look at real quick. <clears throat> so Raging Bolt. It is at 76, and I immediately want to zoom out because you can see. Uh, obviously, it was uh, you know the other one that out of the gates was the best, and then some playability-related stuff happened. It shot up, and it went all the way down from 100 bucks, basically even, to 67 dollars. But now, so 67 being that low, it is all the way up to 76 dollars and 25 cents. Another one going up just a little. Walking Wake is not on the list this week because it went sideways two weeks in a row. So that's why we're showing Gouging Fire instead of Walking Wake. But Walking Wake now is up on the one month from $39, $42. You know, it's a little 10% bump. But if you zoom out, it is, let's keep zooming. It's higher than it's been in a very long time. So that's definitely why I included it. It is doing very well lately. Alrighty. And now, so Gardevoir, okay, so a couple of a couple of SIRs, a couple more. Gardevoir is up a little more and is comfortably ahead of everyone else as far as uh, base set. Scrolling by the base set, uh, most valuable card, almost thirty bucks, twenty nine bucks. What was that on the one week? Up from twenty five to to twenty nine, thirty. Okay, Gengar. So Gengar full art, the only full art on today's list. So basically, let's see here. It's at an all-time high. Let's see if I can show you that. So we never count anything from the first week, or I guess in this case, two weeks. But if you look here, it's even higher than its little spike in May. So it's essentially at an all-time high. Four. Again, go. All right, moving along. Yeah, I'm actually going pretty quick. We're already, already halfway done. Okay, so here we go. So brand new cards, a whole trio of uh, starters, can't starters. Uh, we're gonna go over right now and uh, these have been up in the past but people stopped talking about them and then yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah so GameStop Charmander promo I do own this card I actually walked into a GameStop handed it the, the person handed it to me and I didn't even buy anything I thought nothing of it and it was a $20 card for a very long time and then this month happened and it went from being a $25 card to a 61, almost $62 card. So Charmander, GameStop, came, GameStop just can't, GameStop can't lose right now. Everything GameStop's doing is, is going up. Kind of crazy, including Charmander. But also, Boba, 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 Best Buy, Boba, Best Buy, Boba. Get, oh my God, I always do this. I actually forgot to make a chart near mint for once. What the heck, Mimic Brew, you're slipping. All right, so on the one month, $11, it's $20. That, to me, looks like it's doubled in price in one month. Yeah, that's a nice looking graph. Zoom out, so there you go. Just r right around that same time as the Charmander. So the GameStop Charmander, the best buy Bulbasaur. And now to get to Squirtle, we gotta go up a couple of bucks. But yeah, this is very recent. Very recent. $11 on October 1st for Bulbasaur. So now to finish off the trio, Squirtle. So this was the 151 UPC that you had to pre-order. And for the longest time, a 
it kind of rested around this 80 well let's see here back it up back it up back it up so we hit a low of 73 let's see do, do, do. So on the one month, it was at 73. Right now it's at 84. So on the one month, it is up 14%. Let's zoom it out because I want to make sure I'm accurate here. So in July, it was at 90. And it went from 90 in July down to 74. And now we're back up. Okay. So it actually was doing better than I thought. I'm not going to lie. But on the one month, and this is this week's hottest cards, it is up egregiously. Okay. So there you go, 84, and that is an, is that, it's not an all-time high. What is its all-time high? 92 is its all-time high in March? All right, keep track of that. Will it break 92? Probably not. All right, well, I don't know. Everything's crazy right now. How could I even say that? Okay, so the UPC itself promo, not the extra promo you got if you pre-ordered it. MuEX SIR. This was $9 on last week's list, and now it's up to 13 62 that is 71 percent on the one month and god it's such a if this card was actually in the set you already know it'd be 200 bucks right like probably it'd probably be beating chonky boy sunzard i am forever curious as to where this would land in relation to chonky boy but yeah even you know as a promo 13 bucks doing pretty good starting to get that uh charizard upc uh you know that kind of value Okay. Greninja promo. So yeah, uh, by the way, we are deep into promos. It is all promos uh, from here on out. So Greninja EX, SIR promo from Shredded Fumble. Last week it was up to 12. This week it's 14.48. It's up 33.7% on the one month. And let's zoom out just a little. Start out eight, nine, hovered around 10 or 11. We're up to almost 15 bucks. Good job, greedy ninja. Not near as greedy as the other ninja. All right, so Noctowl. So guys, if I was doing the recap, we would do the best deal banger. And for three straight weeks, I would have set any Pokemon Center stamped ETB promo that you can get under $20 is the best deal banger. Literally, I've been saying that for three straight weeks. Two of them that were under 20 are now over 20. So I hope, I hope you listen. But still, standing order, you find these promos under 20 bucks. Noctowl was 19, Noctowl's 25, speed it up. Mimikyu was 14, Mimikyu is 22, 38, okay. Pikachu has been on my list for a while. On the one month it was 35, it is now 58. Massive gains, massive gains. For a lot of Pikas. Charmander. It's been on my list for a while. <laughs> $66 on the one month. It is $78 now. The amount of promos this month are, it's just, just wow. Snorlax. Cracked over 100 finally. All time high. What is happening? Armored Mewtwo. The one that was on my list for three straight months. 118, guys. The card we all hate. Pikachu gray felt hat, $167. Look at this, look at that, look at that. 100, 170. That's your one month chart for this little bastard. Ay, ay, ay. All right, that's it. Like I said, no recap, I will here, I'll post them right now. I'll let each each of the, the recap boards sit up there for like a second. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so there you go. Um, surging Sparks, guys, just take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. One week can make a huge difference in prices and availability. Um, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna, no matter what, even I, FOMO, hype, FOMO, it affects everybody. Just, uh, yeah. Um, Pay close attention to your bank account and uh, have a good weekend, guys. And I, I really honestly hope y'all pull the Pika because would, would I sell the Pika if I pulled it right now? Or would I? I would grade it. I would grade it. You know, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't speed grade it. You know, you know, I wouldn't speed grade it at all. I would just 
send it in like regular in a couple months if I get a 10 sell it and if not probably crack it open and put it in the master set yeah I have genuinely no idea I, I'm just sitting here thinking now I'm like where is this Pikachu gonna end up because hype does things that just do not make sense have a good weekend everybody Deuces.